Castle Hall. Those of you joining us by way of Facebook, we welcome you also and wish you a very happy Mother's Day. In this moment, I invite us to whisper a silent prayer, asking the Holy Spirit to guide and bless our worship time together today. Desire 
lives are known. From you, no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Send us your Holy Spirit to strengthen us and exalt us to that place where our Savior has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit as one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. Please be seated for the lessons. first reading is from the book of Acts. In those days, Peter stood up among the believers. Together, the crowd numbered about 120 persons and said, Friends, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit, through David, foretold concerning Judas, who became a guide for those who arrested Jesus. For he was numbered among us and was allotted his share in this ministry. So one of the men who have accompanied us during all that time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day when he was taken up from us, one of these must become a witness with us to his resurrection. So they proposed two. Joseph, called Barsabbas, who was also known as Justice, and Matthias. Then they prayed and said, Lord, you know everyone's heart. Show us which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in this ministry and apostleship from which Judas turned aside to go to his own place. And they cast lots for them. The lot fell on Matthias and he was added to the eleven apostles. The word of the Lord. Be to God. Please join me in praying Psalm 1, found on page 4 in your bulletin. Happy are they who have not walked in the counsel of the wicked, nor lingered in the way of sinners, nor sat in the seats of the scornful, their delight is in the law of the Lord, and they meditate on his law day and night. They are like trees planted by streams of water, bearing fruit in due season, with leaves that do not wither. Everything they do shall prosper. It is not so with the wicked. They are like chaff which the wind blows away. Therefore, the wicked shall not stand upright when judgment comes, nor the sinner in the counsel of the righteous. 
For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked is doomed. reading from 1 John. If we receive human testimony, the testimony of God is greater. For this is the testimony of God that he has testified to his Son. Those who believe in the Son of God have the testimony in their hearts. Those who do not believe in God have made him a liar by not believing in the testimony that God has given concerning his son. And this is the testimony. God gave us eternal life and this life is in his son. Whoever has the son has life Whoever does not have the Son of God does not have life. I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, so that you may know that you have eternal life. The word of the Lord. Yes, Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory, Glory to you, Lord Christ. Jesus prayed for his disciples. I have made your name known to those whom you gave me from the world. They were yours, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you have given me is from you. For the words that you gave to me, I have given to them, and they have received them and know in truth that I came from you. They have believed that you sent me. I am asking on their behalf. I am not asking on behalf of the world, but on behalf of those whom you gave me, because they are yours. All mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I have been glorified in them. And now I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world. I am coming to you, Holy Father. Protect them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one as we are one. While I was with them, I protected them in the name that you have given me. I guarded them, and not one of them was lost except the one destined to be lost, so that the scripture might be fulfilled. Now I am coming to you, and I speak these things in the world, so that they may have my joy made complete in themselves. I have given them your word, and the world has hated them, because they do not belong to the world just as I do not belong to the world. I am not asking you to take them out of the world, but I ask you to protect them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world just as I do not belong to the world. Sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you have sent me into the world, so I have sent them into the world, and for their sakes I 
sanctify myself so that they also may be sanctified in truth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Christ. Christ. Most of the time I like to preach from the scriptures because we have such a rich gift in God's written word. Uh, today I want to talk a little though about Mother's Day um, because moms are so important. This is a great day for most of us, isn't it? Uh, those of us who are moms will be uh, hopefully pampered and, and celebrated and taken out to a, a nice dinner or maybe you got breakfast in bed, I don't know. Uh, something wonderful, hopefully, is set aside for you. For some of us, it's a hard day. Um, and, and there's a number of folks who, who register this as a difficult day. Uh, foremost among us, I think, are those who miss mom. My mom passed away in 2019, and uh, not a Sunday goes by that I don't miss our weekly phone call. She uh, lit up her room, my mom, and I miss her so much, and, and she blessed me in so many ways. She wasn't perfect. No mom is, no father is, uh, no child is, <laughs> um, but I miss her. And, and so some, some days, Mother's Days are hard because we miss mom. It's also a hard day for those who deeply, longingly desire to be mothers and are not technically. And, and I'll explain what I mean by technically. Um, I remember my then wife and I being in church on Mother's Day and, and all the mothers were to take a rose from the usher as they left the church. It was a, just an acknowledgement of the beauty that they as moms bring into the world. And, and, and my wife was told, you're not a real mother because she hadn't had a biological child. And, oh, how painful that was. The pastor was not happy. God bless him. Um, but the thing is, all of us can be mothers. I know in this age of, of gender reassignment and everything, that, that really sounds kind of strange, but we all can be mothers. And that's what that pastor said the next Mother's Day. He said, if you love children, you're a mom. If you teach Sunday school, if you work uh, as, as the lunch lady at your local high school, you're a mom. Because you can birth in others beauty, hope, self-esteem, love. And so today we honor all mothers. It's also a difficult day for those who have painful memories of mom. There are moms, we, we must acknowledge, we see them in the news, who mistreat their children, who make a priority, whether it's drugs or alcohol or gambling or some deviant man over their kids. And those folks who come to church on Mother's Day have a struggle, don't they? Because they're trying to heal this memory, this image of a mother that is twisted and toxic. And the church has told them, year in and year out, day in and day out, honor thy father and mother. Well, that is one of the big ten, isn't it? The Ten Commandments. Honor your father and mother. And I struggled with that myself because as much as I loved my parents, they did some pretty awful things too. They planted some awful messages in my head. A very wise counselor said to me, do you know what that means to honor 
your mother and your father. It means you are to honor that which is honorable. And almost every mother, father, there is something worth honoring. I can look at my dad and honor his fidelity to my mom. I can look at my dad and honor his intellect, his compassion for others. I can look at my mom and I can honor her fidelity to my dad, to honor the ways that she very proactively protected me as a child. There is much to honor there. So honor that which is honorable. If you have a memory of a mother who was racist, who was cruel in some ways, don't honor that. There's nothing honorable about that. But honor the good. And that's a, a very healthy place to live. Finally today, I want us to reclaim the idea of motherhood as something that is divine. Now, we call God Father. And that's because the church, and I'm talking about the church from ancient times until now, has recognized God as Father. Why has the church done that? Well, cynics will say, well, because men have been in charge of the church, so of course God is Father. Well, there's truth in that, but I think it goes a little bit deeper. God speaks the language of the people he loves because he wants them to know him. And so, when God revealed himself to humanity, God recognized that humanity was, at that time, largely patriarchal. And so, God was revealed as Father. Jesus prayed to his Father. And that's good, and that's honorable. And those who would strip that from our worship, though well-intended, I think, are wrong. But at the same time, when God created life, when he created men and women, what, what does the account say? Male and female, he created them in the image of God. He created them, which means the woman is every bit as much a reflection of God as the man. There is a motherhood to God that we need to reimagine and reclaim and live into because it heals us, it empowers us, and not just women, men. It's all through the scripture. In the Old Testament, Remember that big white beard and that old man that we think is God in the Old Testament, right? Looks just like Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Well, we picture him and, and we think that's God. But the same God of the Old Testament that we imagine said to Israel, How I have longed to nurse you at the breast. That intimate moment, mother and child. Wow. That's not a very patriarchal God, is it? Jesus, the Son, Son of God, weeps over Jerusalem and says, Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, how I have longed to gather you under my wings like a mother hen. You know, a mother hen will, uh, when there's a fire or a predator, gather her chicks under her wings and give her life, hiding and shielding her little ones. That was Jesus. God is neither male nor female. God is both male and female. God is God. But I invite us to imagine God in ways that heal our image of God and our image of mom and of dad. And remember that however we understand God, 
We know God best in the face of Jesus, in the life and example and words of Jesus. And I invite us to remember that God wants us, Jesus wants us, and they want to be wanted. Amen. stand together, if we are able. Pray together the words of the Nicene Creed, which are found on page 7, or beginning on the bottom of page 6 of our service today. We believe in one God, Father and God. Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church. Grant that every member of the church may truly and humbly serve you. We pray for all bishops, priests, and deacons. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world. Give us grace to do your will in all that we undertake. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble. Give to the departed eternal rest. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. Let us pray for our own needs and those of others. At this time, I invite you to name those who are on your heart. You may do so loud or silently. Almighty God, we come before you knowing that you love us and you will for us such good things that we can't even imagine. We ask you to undertake in the lives of those for whom we pray. Where there is illness, we ask for healing. Where there is grief, we ask for comfort. Where there is need, we ask for provision. Where there is
there's confusion or strife, we ask for wisdom and peace. Lord, we remember before you our brother Will and the right family in their time of grief. We ask you to bless and console and comfort them. Grant repose to the soul of your dear servant, Mark. Lead us all forward into that place of eternal life and joy where Jesus is on the throne. All this we ask in your loving name. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sins against God and our God. Most merciful God, we confess to be a sin against you, and in our glory of you, that I will be a man, and I will be a man. We pray not only for the whole world, we do not love our neighbors as ourselves. If they are truly sorry, we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, that our church now will send your love, that we may be right in your love. sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Before the peace, we have blessings to give. I know someone has a birthday. First time grandpa. I would. I would venture to guess he really likes that grandmother too. Just a little, just a little bit. The Lord be with you. Good and gracious God, you have gifted Calvary Church with the presence of this dear, kind man. We thank you for Grant for his service to the church, for his voice of praise, for his smile, for his wisdom. We pray that today and and in all the days to come in the next year, you would bless him. Grant him help and strength, peace and joy. Fill him with your spirit. Bless him as a, a dad, a husband, a grandfather. Thank you for him, Lord. And may your blessing rest upon him. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Other blessings today, other prayers, anniversaries. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Also with you. Peace upstairs. Yeah, we'll do that during announcements. Yeah, that'll be during the announcements. Yeah. Peace. Yeah, we're going to do that. that, that one. I would love that. If it it's always good to, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. If they bring them up, I'll bless them.
Keegan Erickson and his family. Um, Keegan is working towards becoming an Eagle Scout. And towards that end, uh, Keegan had organized a group of uh, scouts to build a collection box that is in the, in the back of the church in the narthex. Um, Keegan, I'd like to invite you up to just say a few words and then we're gonna bless the collection box. What are we collecting in the box, just out of curiosity? You know, I... Gifts for the record. <laughs> Gifts for the record. We'll talk to Keegan. Keegan, hi, welcome. Um, I think it was back in November I started doing this project, and the church came to me with the idea of building the food pantry collection box for donations for the less fortunate. And um, back and back then it was just a couple of cardboard boxes, so. I built the new piece of furniture, and feel free to use it for <laughs> donations. <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoy it, along with all the future Eagle Scout projects. I know we have quite a few in the process right now. Thank you. So, <laughs> Let us pray. Good and loving God, how I thank you for our friends, the Scouts. Thank you for the love that they demonstrate for the world around them, the care of your creation, the care of the less fortunate. And they have enabled us to take part in that vision and that ministry that was so much a part of who you are in this world. Lord, bless that box, bless the donations, and above all, bless the families that will receive those donations, that they may know you love them, and that there is a place in Lombard where they are cared for, thought of, prayed for, and protected. And bless our scouts, we pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. All right, another announcement. Oh, Jessica. Yes. Jessica and Max. He's a team. <laughs> Absolutely. And Marilyn. Hi, Max. Okay. Um, for Mother's Day, Jessica has uh, graciously made this little prize for the lucky mom today. I put the names of all the moms here in this little um, vase, and we're going to draw out the winning mom, and she'll get to take this. Home. Father Jim's gonna pick him up. <laughs> and yes. Let me turn my microphone back up. Okay. Max. <laughs> Did you? In, in true Chicago tradition, every one of these says Max. I don't know. <laughs> Carla. Carla said I don't know 
what to say, and I thought, we don't have to say anything today, well, but next week you're preaching. Yes. So, uh, um, oh. uh, we have another announcement, uh, very important, uh, on the page 24. Everybody on the page 24, we're going to have a Veterans Day. It's going to happen on Saturday, May 25th at 4 p.m., okay? And uh, I want to thank you everyone, every uh, member and friends member and family member are being supporting this event. Uh, we are coming like a very big team united and supporting each other. And that's really nice. It's nice to see uh, a lot of people supporting everybody else in different, very different events. So thank you everyone. And also on the Sunday after we have the healing. We have this brochure at Outerreach House. I hang it there Thursday and I'll be there at Outerreach House uh, handling next Thursday. Uh, Veterans Park in Lombard also have a few of those. Yes. And gonna have more. No, no, no. Come on. Ah. And gonna have more. Sorry. That's okay. That's all right. <laughs> we love Max. And uh, we do have uh, uh, the event is not, we are not charging for the event, okay? But uh, our teams, families, neighbors, members, they are coming out with uh, a lot of support for decoration, for fruits, for cakes, for cookies, and everything else. Okay, so I really want to thank you, everyone, for the time you're spending on that. We also have the tea party, what is not mentioned here, and we also have the uh, Be a Hero program, what is a very important education knowledge to everyone have about it. So mark those days and time on your calendar. You know, grab your phone. If you don't have a phone, make a little note. And uh, because we need everybody here. We need all your members so we can win a ADD machine. Okay, they will provide the ADD machine to us if you have a minimum 20 people. Great. Thank you, Thank you everyone. So much, Happy Jess. Mother's Day, everybody. Thank you for all you do, Jess. And I just want to add that um, uh, with the veterans event, we're going to have some little flyers that we can hand out uh, next Sunday. We want you to take those and give them to neighbors, coworkers, friends. Let the community know we're here to honor our veterans and invite them to our Saturday and Sunday uh, events for them. Also, our neighbors next door at First Church have invited us to participate in a Pride Fest for the LGBT community, and I will be there. I hope a number of you will come out as well. That will be in June, so keep an eye on uh, the newsletter for the exact date and time. Please pray about that event. Last year there were some threats. Nothing materialized. I don't think anything will, but we want to stand with our brothers and sisters and say they are welcome. Other announcements this morning. Walk in love because Christ loved us. He gave himself for us an offering and a sacrifice.
the repose of the soul of our sister, and God's servant, Molly Wright. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. With the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, it is right and right and grace. grace. It is right and good and joyful thing. Always and everywhere, give thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. But chiefly are we bound to praise you for the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. For he is the true Paschal Lamb who was sacrificed for us and has taken away the sin of the world. By his death he has destroyed death. By his rising to life again he has won for us everlasting life. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we forever sing this hymn, proclaim the glory of your name. Savior 
Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil.
Man, you the body of Christ. They didn't leave this morning. I got it. This week. Okay. 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 prayer is at the top of page 17 of your surface bulletin. Do we pray this in you? Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us for sinning and members of your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ.
thy service in the world continue. So go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God.